Wow, she's done it, ladies and gentlemen. The 17-year-old Russian phenom, Mira and Treva, has made the Olympics. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. But she has also made her first Grand Slam semifinal as she upsets Arena Sabalenka in three sets. No one gave her a chance, including myself. I did not think she could pull it off. But listen, you can only beat someone so many times before they get better. That's right. Sabalenka came into this matchup with the head-to-head -head two love, just pressuring and overpowering Mira in the previous matches. But the way Mira gets balls back, ladies and gentlemen, and the rumor was that Sabalenka wasn't feeling good. But listen, I don't think if she was feeling 100%, it would have mattered because Mira's just too darn good. Now, I talk about Mira's ability to get balls back. And listen, out of all the players on tour, Mira's probably the only player I just I just can't figure her game out. Because it seems like every point, she's just hustling and doing different things. I can't really, as much film now, I mean, when she burst on the scene last year, there wasn't much film on her, so, you know, a lot of players struggled to play her. Now there's film on her. I still can't figure her out. My conclusion is that she's just too darn good, ladies and gentlemen. She's too good. Now, the numbers today weren't pretty. They're not going to be pretty when you're taking on Arena Sabalenka, right? It's going to be that type of match, seven double faults. Mira only got 49% of her first serves in play. She won 57% of the first, 58 of the second. And Sabalenka, guys, 50% of her first serves in. Lost 47% of the first serve. Lost 45% of the second serve. Mira played amazing, forcing Sabalenka into 14 breakpoint opportunities. She's got to control the double faults. But again, I think with Mira, she's got youth on her side. She's got stamina. She... She doesn't really get tired. She's very fast and athletic. She can slide well on clay. She's got over an 80% win percentage on clay for her young career. And she's so long. Her wingspan, her reach to get balls back. When I watch her play, guys, if, if I have to say what her super strength is, I think it's her mental toughness. At her age, she's got nothing to lose. She comes into these matches so calm, and it's like, whatever. That is an it factor for her. She definitely has that going for her. She doesn't seem to get nervous, and for someone so young, it's like you see a lot of the greats at her age crying, very emotional. Mental's very, Mira's very mentally stable, and I just love her reach, her wingspan to get balls back with that racket extended. It's just unbelievable, guys. She pulls off the upset, and she shakes up the rankings. Coco Goff is now ranked number two in the world, ladies and gentlemen. In the words of Mira, Coco, she's just too fast for me. <laughs> Coco's number two. Why? Because last year, Sabalenka made the semifinal match where she uh, would lose to Mukova. And she's going to lose those points. Coco was bounced out last year in the quarterfinal to Iga. So Coco's going to gain points making it to the semifinal. Just making it to the semifinal over the quarterfinal is a 400-point difference. And the fact that Sabalenka is now losing points, not making it at least back to the semifinal, Coco Goff is now number two in the world. Mira did it, guys. She pulled off probably the biggest upset in the tournament. I don't say and I don't think that Polini Rabakina is an upset because Polini plays very fast. And in the words of Mira, Mira said it herself, Jasmine plays very fast. She's very fast and very aggressive. That's going to be your semifinal matchup, Coco and Iga. And listen, guys, I have to tell you right now, Coco's second Grand Slam has to go through Iga. If she beats Iga, Coco will be the French Open champion. This is going to be a battle, and I think Coco knows that. Get your popcorn. The semifinals are set from France. Tennis in a minute. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I am so happy for Mira. She did it. It was a pain trying to get this match. All of these subscriptions are horrible, guys. I can't wait to Wimbledon and the U.S. Open. But nonetheless, Mira wins. Congratulations, Mira. You deserve it.